Okay, so listen, we're playing strange horticulture again today. I'm gonna go through another couple days and discover some plants, and I hope it's fun. So let's see. I always love this intro. It's cute. The music kind of pulls you right in, simmers you down, honestly calms the soul. Ah, it's raining again today. Okay, so this was the card that we got last, last, uh, episode at the end of it. I didn't flip it, but it flipped itself, so sorry. Um, five miles south of the tallest but one, it grows in peace in the midday sun. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can... Okay, this was the one that was like, leave a flower. And I don't know if I jive with that is the problem. Five miles south of the tallest but one. Okay, I'm assuming it's talking about mountains. So... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably the tallest one. I don't see anything over here. So... Five miles south of the tallest but one. Oh, one, two, three... Four, five, but one. It grows in peace in the midday sun. So maybe here? Nothing here. New. No. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to come back for that one. Because apparently I'm not big brain enough to figure that one out on the first go. And wood. I was able to strip away the swift snares, vines, and lift the lid with more than a little trepidation, I'll admit. To my relief, but also disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer I discovered a golden amulet embedded in the grey ash. On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, With Solomon's scepter I awake. Solomon's scepter, that's a plant, right? Is it? It sounds like something magical to me, not a plant. Do I have that page? Yeah, I do. Also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate. <laughs> that is a little alarming, isn't it? Sometimes Solomon's scorn, the flowers of the plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic practices. My love, I don't know that you want to be going down this road. Many sweet-smelling small flowers grow along the stem. Sweet-smelling small flowers. Um, twister, isn't it? That looks exactly like that. Hey. Um, off to a good start. Long verisoned. Okay, well, let's label this bad boy. Okay, so my question is, five miles south of the tallest but a one didn't mean less than like one less than five miles. So what if it means the second tallest, five miles south of the second tallest mountain, which would be Bofell. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, be here, right? Uh -huh. The forest here is lush and vibrant. The bird song feels enchanting, like the call of sirens. Nestled in the undergrowth under the shade of a birch tree, a plant grows. Oh. Interesting. It looks like a cross between like a Venus flytrap and a succulent. Like this little hollow area looks like it's meant to suck bugs in. That's neat. I don't know that I would be super excited about finding that in the wild, though. Ooh, do you have a letter for me? I heard a shepherd got killed by some wild beast up near the Swinside Stone Circle. They say it slaughtered half his flock as well. Oh my gosh. People around here seem to don't seem too bothered, but it's got them panicked down Foxfield Way. Ooh, I will to explore. Kent Mere Eye. That's it? That's ominous as hell. I guess we're exploring again. Where is Kentmere Eye? Okay, this is Kentmere. Hmm. 
Listen, I wish you guys would tell me where to look because <laughs> apparently I'm blind when it comes to this map. I wonder if it has anything to do with any of my tools. I haven't really touched this thing. Is there an eye on here, maybe? Oh, there is. Okay. What if we... Send me your eye. Here? From Kentmere, I follow the bearing of the eye and end up in a small forest north of Kendall. The woods are thick with briar and brambles, but amongst the tangled undergrowth, a type of flower is flourishing. Okay, so we've got to pay a little bit more attention. Oh, I've got a, I got an achievement for that, a mystery solved. Big brain, big brain. Um, we got to pay more attention to our tools is what I'm understanding here because like we got this thing. So my assumption was that maybe anything else that we have could be of service there because I did not see any eyes on the map at all. Brona Green, well, this is getting interesting. I was able to confirm that it was indeed Gilded Dendra that was used at the Swinside ritual site. That's a worrying sign. It's a plant that is used in several of the darker incantations, and it can't be a coincidence that very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the sisterhood. There must be. I need some mental clarity to think it through some more. Some maiden sorrow would help a lot. All right, maiden sorrow. Yeah, this mystery is, uh, it's, it's getting crazy out here. We've got two deaths now. Um, rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's fingers and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering, providing a focusing effect. The flowers of this plant droop mournfully, but it is the thorns along its stem that are thought to lend its name. Okay, so it's thorny, and this one's thorny, staying well clear of them. Okay, I think we have another one that has thorns somewhere? This one. Ooh. Single pink flower that smells pleasant. That looks like it. I'm gonna go with this one. Yes, wonderful. We got a book entry. Okay, a red ebony. All right, I got a will to explore, but the only this one. Oh, oh this one needs red ebony. Okay, well I'll keep serving, and then we can maybe find red ebony through the game through the way the game wants us to. It looks like I'm going to have to make a trip to Blackcomb. Verona noticed something at the Swinside site that had me pondering. A piece of slate with a symbol drawn on it in black. Can't think of anywhere else around here, around there where you'd get slate from. That and Bradley Miller keeps insisting that he saw something up at Blackcomb. But then again, Bradley Miller does claim that fairies stole his wheelbarrow. <laughs> If I'm going to spend a night out in the hills, I'll want to take some Eyebright with me. Wouldn't want anyone sneaking up on me in the dark. That's fair. I wouldn't want that either. Um, I think it's funny that he's like... It's the weirdest thing. He says fairies stole his wheelbarrow, but they're fine with witches. They believe in witches, but fairies? That's where they draw the line. Um, Eyebright. Take care not to touch its brightly colored thorns. They will do no lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause a eh, severe pain for several days after. A plant that only grows in the south of in warmer clients, climates, not clients, where they call it Loeth, Loeth, after a long dead king, known to improve eyesight at night, even in the darkest places. Um, well, this is the only other thorny one we have, and it does have bright thorns. So, I'm gonna use that one. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. Wild coal. Ooh, little berries. Let's label you. Perfect. Chris Devere, his eyes are green. 
Does it ever stop raining in Undermere? I have the same question. You have a reputation in this town for knowing about unusual plants and having such a big brain. I need some gray sand fire. Nobody around here seems to even know what I'm talking about, but I hope I'm in the right place now. Okay. Gray sand fire. Sandfire has a tough outer bark which has many useful properties. Some chew it as a form of dental hygiene, taking care not to swallow it as it can cause unpleasant stomach distress. Didn't we read that same thing with this one? No, but that does have bark. Oh, give off a smoky scent. I should have just kept reading a little bit longer. That's the one. What a goose. Get in the pond, me. Okay. Gray sand fire. Okay. Neato. Um, well, the only other thing is this. Please do not make the mistake of ignoring us. Praise the dendru. What is the dendru? I, I don't know that I feel comfortable going and doing that, so I'm not gonna. And if you guys want to yell at me, go ahead and yell at me. I'm playing a game over here all by myself. Give me feedback. Loic to Illgill Head, Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Okay. At first she felt free, but it wasn't long before the reality of her situation began to take its toll. She stole food when she was hungry and slept in makeshift shelters, not knowing where she was going, not caring. Eventually, she made her way to Grisdale Forest. All right, let's explore this one then. Lowick? Okay, where is Lowick? I better not be blind to this one as well. Well, that's Crinkle Crags. Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Lowick. Mm. Lowick. Mm. Foxfield. Where's Foxfield? I'm assuming this one's gonna like triangulate a location. Field to Crinkle Crags. Lowick. Ilgil Head. Okay. Lowick to Ilgil Head. Boxfield to Crinkle Crags. So. Ear? <laughs> The magpie sees me before I see it. I do not know how long it has been watching me, but I can tell that it is interested in my movements. A strange sensation creeps over me, and I feel an urge to leave this place, but not before collecting a plant for further study, one for sorrow. Turning to leave, I see another magpie, and another plant I've never seen before, two for joy. Ooh, very pretty. Oh, I like these. I don't have any more room on my purple shelf, I don't think. Unless I do. I do. Oh my gosh, they're all clumped up though. I might have to change where the purple shelf is. But later, we must ding the bell. Sorry, Hellbore. Baby, go back to sleep. That purr. The purr. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Ennis Aylford. Ignoring our offer was a mistake, horticulturist. The Dendru has awoken. The redemption is upon us, and when it arrives, you will not be spared. Okay. Bye, Dendru. I'm gonna archive that one. Um, I don't do well with threats, sir. I have all these plants, and I'm pretty sure one of them kills people, so I would watch, watch it. Unknown. My mind is clouded, dark. I see it, and it sees me. All of me. Elder Finium is the answer. It must be. I will not forget those who help me, a horticulturist. Um, I will not forget those who wear green masks in my shop. 
petals of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote to Dendra's miasma? The deadly poison that causes the blood to slowly turn black, eventually resulting in a painful death. It has an intoxicating scent similar to that of Solomon's scepter. Hmm. Kinda like this one. A rather unpleasant scent. An intoxicating scent. We've okay. Solomon's scepter. Which one was that one? This one, this one. This one was Solomon's scepter. Is it? Maybe. Nope. I don't see that being it. What about this one? With a gentle scent. Well, is alluring. Is alluring what we're looking for? I think it might be the purple one. One of the purple ones that we just found, maybe. Bennett. Do you look like? No. Okay, I'm gonna go with the purple one. If it's not the purple one, don't come for me. Nope. Wasn't the purple one. Like I said, don't come for me. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna use a hint. I should get that viewing device working. Hmm. Red Ebony. I'm sure I have some of that around here. Okay, sure. Red Ebony. This plant is said to uncover that which is hidden, including buried treasure and secret writings. The Red Ebony is extremely rare and not well studied. Blood has been spilled over this plant, which is where the red part of the name comes from. The large flower is in fact blue. Is it this? Is this, um, Red Ebony? Ooh, okay. Okay. So what's it do then? see if this shows me anything. <gasps> Tomb of the Hunter? What the is that? The Great Oak. Great. Definitely show- Oh! Sneaky! That's so sneaky! Okay, so we're meant to go here. Here. Whoever wrote on my map has been very helpful. I would, I would never have thought to come out to this desolate place in search of plant life, but a quick search yields exciting results. Oh, so I didn't actually have it yet. So this guy is for the map. Has a strong, sweet aroma. Okay, I'm, well, I'm gonna label it right off the bat. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing that says anything about it on the map, so let's wait on that one, I guess. And wood, help me, the amulet. I can't remove it and it's drawing the life from me. This amulet? Girl. Okay, um. Long vera sund or vera kund? Sometimes called Witch's Remedy, the long verisund, vericund, is believed to lift curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stem. It's hot heart. This one? It's got leaves in pairs. That's hop heart, so it's not that one. Um, I'm gonna go with 
with this one. Yeah. Perfect. I can feel it working. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I got another page for my book. labeled another one solved sorry hellbore you can't be sleeping like that and get spooked it makes me feel sad it's good to see you my friend i've been on the road so long i'd started to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters i've been sending i am i'm back in town for a few days though and i wanted to give you these before i forgot i found them in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle almost threw them away but i thought the symbols on them might mean something to you four notes <gasps> Do these go with the one that I've yet to be able to solve? This one also? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. What are these? Maybe in order of how many petals they have? Like this, maybe? Oh, in order of the way that they fit together? The pieces of paper fit? Potentially? <laughs> is this correct? I must be missing one still. Unless this one goes here? No, this one definitely goes there. I Am, am I missing one? Does this one go at the end? Yes. Yes, it does. This one. Five. Four. This one. Ooh, secrets! <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh huh. I got a page. I got another page. Okay, score. That one was starting to bug me. The little flower, this guy? Not knowing what that was? Mm mm. <laughs> Robert Barrow's Medicinal Herbology. Black Hall Rolled Kendall. Okay. A briar's disc, often called a smuggler's disc, is a simple device that can be used to send coded messages. The location of cached cargo, for example. The principle is cunningly straightforward, but the code is undecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in possession of a disc of identical size, with the same symbols etched around its edge, and a map. To encode a location, you would then place the disc over some named point on the map nearby and note wherever whichever symbol is pointing to the location. It may be necessary to string multiple symbols together, but you can use this method to reach any other point on the map as required. Okay, so I had a big brain before we got that note. And so that's what this is, the Briar's disc then. What is this coin? Hmm, cool. Big brain. I have no idea what any of this means, but it seemed like something you might find interesting. I found it while clearing out the nook of the East Wing. Balox elixir, made from crushed petals of three distinctive plants. Balox elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure that they retain inf important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking Baylox and staring at a blank wall for 12 hours. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm meant to be mixing stuff together, maybe? What is... Okay, I don't know what that is yet. Black Hall Rolled. Kendall. Here's Kendall. Let's see. 
I find the medicinal herbology shop off Black Hall Road. I know you, says the man behind the counter, Robert Barrow, presuming, presumably. You're the owner of Strange Horticulture. Two hours later, after a lengthy and engaging discussion, covering a variety of botanical subjects, we decide on a trade. It turns out Robert is a collector of unusual fungi, and I have just the thing for him. Copper Caledonia. Did we find that one? Mm. All right, let's see. I can archive that now. Um, this plant has a rejuvenation effect, but most who have tried to benefit from its properties have come to realize that it is a curse, not a blessing. Though you may appear younger, you will quickly become more frail and brittle. Oh boy. Um, the red patches that are often seen growing on it are in fact a type of fungus themselves and not a part of the plant. How strange. I think it's this one. That's the only one. Yeah. Oh, I got three plants for that. Cool. These are neat looking. Weird. Okay. Copper Caledonian. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna organize some of these. All right, end the day with that. Good stuff. Another card for us. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. Mm, in Tibet. First find to bay, and then we can decipher the rest of the clue. <laughs> okay, in to bay, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. Mm, okay, these are north, east, south, south, west, south, south. I find myself on a patch of moorland surrounded by jagged peaks and menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the swatches of purple heather and there another. Yee! Look at those! Cool. Those are neat looking. Hello, Hellboar. Give you some little pats. Love you, little buddy. That was also big brain. <laughs> Sorry, bub. Long Meg, sorry, I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out for you in the library. Thank you. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late nights at the library are taking their toll. Fever kiss. Um, what color was that one? I think we found that one already. Nope, maybe not. Uh, leaves are pale in color. The red berries. Berries. Red berries. These are pale in color. Small red berries. That's what you want. <laughs> oh, what kind of plant is that? Large cup-like flowers. Weird. Okay, you are fever kiss. Cool. Love it. Oh, buddy. David Schaefer, there's talk around of a woman who wears a green mask made of jade. I've seen her. There are all sorts of oddballs in Undermere, but that's certainly unusual. Yeah, she doesn't really say much. She just says, need help, please. Ooh, okay. Beckfoot candle. Am I have, gonna have to use this again? There is a candle on it. <laughs> All right, let's check it out, guys. Let's check it out. Beckfoot. Where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah. Beck foot. Beck foot. Found it. It's here. Beck foot candle. The candle leads me east of West Water. Yeah, that's a weird name. To the north of the mighty Scaffell Pike grazes the sky. 
tallest, pi tallest peak in England. The challenge beckons to me, perhaps another time. <laughs> the tallest peak, I would definitely take that challenge. I'm gonna do some solid hiking this summer, so watch out for that. She's a hiking girl. I won't need plants to do it though. I've been talking to people around town, trying to learn as much as I can about this beast that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. In the old world, they call this thing the servant, but the people here seem to have forgotten that name, except this, the group calling themselves the Seeds of Redemption. They are something I did not expect, and they have made it clear that they want me to stay away from the servant. They seem to worship it. But I'm getting distracted. My Dranthium supplies are low. I need more. Have we found Dranthium? I can't remember. No. Is that what makes his eyes green? A plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale smoke from, from burning its long, sharp leaves elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. Some know Dranthium as Green Eye, a name derived from the telltale sign of overdose where even the whites of the eyes take on a green tint. Sir, are you all right? <laughs> um, Dranthium. Hmm. Does it have... Does it have flowers? There's only, there's two other locations. It doesn't say anything about Doranthium though. Maybe the Great Oak? I don't feel like it'd be in the tomb. Um, where's the Great Oak? Here? A huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than I could have ever imagined any living thing might be. Its upper branches graze the sky. Okay. That didn't tell me anything. So, I'm assuming that I don't have the plant yet. Hmm, let's water some stuff. Great. So, Tomb of the Hunter? Yeah, that's the only other one that we've got. So, here. The memorial bears the name Swaif Pryor. It stirs a memory. He was one of the Dreyer. Um, theirs is a lonely life at the mercy of a dangerous addiction. They build a tolerance to the Duranthium sap in childhood that they might benefit from its potent effects, but they will die if they stop taking it. The unusual plant grows sparsely around the memorial. Alright, well, we found it, so that's cool. Um, Wouldn't have found that otherwise. Can't say I would have thought to use the map for that one. My assumption is always that we just have it. Um, how is it spelt? Dranthium. Dranthium. Like that. Make it pink. Why not? Put it with the purples. I'm gonna ding the bell, buddy, okay? Reuben, you're back. I crept around black comb two nights ago in the pitch black. That eyebright stuff, that eyebright is some potent stuff. I could see clear as day. Up on the fell, I found a shallow pit full of skulls. Some deer, fox, badger, and some human. Great. There was an eerily, eerie silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise, like an axe maker's whetstone, but unmistaken, unmistakably animal. Hmm. High on the ridgeline, I saw a cowled woman wearing a jade mask, 
watching me and beside her something dark, inhuman, and bloody huge. Oh boy. I don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depth on this one. I'll need to speak to Verona again. While I'm here, I'll grab some wild coal for my pounding head. You'd have been out drinking too if you'd seen what I did. Yeah, I understand. Um, wouldn't want to see what you saw. Uh, Woulda ran away crying, screaming um, as fast as I could. The purple berries are recommended by physicians in a place of a hair of the dog mentality as a tonic for those suffering the effects of having drunk too much the night before. Okay, there are some who consider wild coal a sacred plant, perhaps owing to its rarity and claim that it's bad luck to pick berries from it. This one? These are purple. They're purple. Cool. Wild coal. Cool. Some good progress on the plants. But you can't get spooked. You saw me go in to click it. My neighbor has a foul smelling mushroom that she says can ward off evil spirits. It's a horrible little thing that attracts flies, but I'd rather that than sit and do nothing. There's something very strange out in the woods. Are you looking for this one? Yeah. <laughs> Genius. Verona. Reuben was looking for you. Poor Reuben, he looks a little worse for wear this morning. He took it hard when his wife died and never qu did quite give up the drink. I think I know what ritual was performed at the stone circle. It all adds up. It was a summoning spell. Someone called to something across the void and tried to bring it here, and with the state of that body all torn to shreds, I'd say they succeeded. Oh boy. And then the gilded dendra? That really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthing's bestiary. A little light reading for you. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest again. The sisterhood will know more. Ooh. All right. It has many names. Some call it the Woken Dendru, believing it to be related in some way to the deadly gilded dendra plant. Others call it the Night Stalker, the Miasma, or the Dread, but the most common name for it in the Shires is the Servant. You'll have heard of it in children's songs such as Keep the Fire, Keep the fire Burning, and Servant, and Master, and there are hints of it in the older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. It is said that the dead ground northeast of Tebay, where nothing but black digitaeus mortis grows, was caused when the servant last walked our lands hundreds of years ago. Okay. Uh, the dead ground northeast of Tebay. Yeah, that's northeast. The wide area of blackened ground here is known to the locals a dead man's field. Dark mushrooms protrude from the soil like fingers reaching out of the grave. Oh. <laughs> Those are a little phallic. Little phallic mushies. My gosh. Okay, this one archive, this one archive. So... Looks like in the next episode, we're going to look into Baylock's elixir and maybe we'll figure out where Long Meg is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, especially when little Hellbore over here gets spooked by the bell. What a little goose. Anyway, if you liked this video, go ahead and tickle the like button for me. Interact with this video as much as you'd like or as little as you'd like. Comments always make my day brighter. Um, if you don't want to miss out on all the cool stuff that we're doing over here, more episodes of strange horticulture, you know, etc, etc. Go ahead and subscribe. Maybe click that bell. Notifications help. Life gets busy. Um, anyway, I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.